Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, yesterday, we had the release of the monthly bug fixes for Windows 11. So they were actually released um, in uh, early afternoon yesterday. I didn't have time to uh, go over them yesterday um, as I've got COVID and I'm not feeling that well, but it's getting better. So uh, the um, if you go see your Windows updates to trigger them, you will see that there's a cumulative update preview for Windows 11, uh, 22H2 and 23H2, uh, KB504-1587. And this brings a number of fixes to the system. It updates your version to 22.621 or 631.41.12. And so this is um, a few things that they're fixing. They did fix quite a few little bugs within File Explorer. If you found that some of the keyboard shortcuts, for example, weren't working well, uh, also, there's a tweak in its uh, performance. Some people were saying that sometimes it kind of froze and halted for a while and then continued. They seem to have improved this on this um, update. They also have fixed a problem with some users with Bluetooth. If you were using Bluetooth on your PC on Windows 11 and that there was an issue there is a problem of connection or dropped connections. Uh, this is uh, something that they have also tweaked. They've added a few little th things also in the different menus, including on Bluetooth, to um, have several options that are uh, improved in reconnecting or connecting devices and so on. Um, so not that much, actually. Um, they uh, did fix a uh, bind filter driver bug that caused system to freeze um, in accessing symbolic links. So um, as well as hibernate stop errors that from laptops, uh, and that's you know pretty much it. It's, there's it's not a big bug fixing update this month. Um, my machine that I use for this was my unsupported. A machine that's on 23H2 and it's an old machine more than 10 years old with a magnetic hard drive and it probably took I'd say about 45 minutes in total so it shows you that it's not that big of an update uh, one thing that it improves and it's not yet available for everybody but I've been able to test it it's available for me when you use a phone link app like you see here this is a phone link app you can now drag and drop files for um, your phone. So I dropped a picture, for example, and when I turned on my phone, it said there was a notification that said there was something. And indeed, my picture was there ready to get saved on my phone. So it makes um, you know sharing files between your phone and your PC much easier. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.